This segment brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meets in Overbrook. Let us help feed your family. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are up to on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk. We're with Taves Dwayne. Alan. I feel all out of sorts. Of I order. know. Isn't that weird? Nobody does. No, you don't, Nobody enters. Taves Dwayne Allen. Yeah. Here for service, sir. <laughs> do they do that in the military? No, but I'd like you to do it. Oh. <laughs> Every time I call your name, I want you yeah. to say, not Dwayne likely. Allen. Not, Here not, for service, sir. Not likely to happen. I, I your fact or fiction question of the day, Kyle Bauer. The electric chair mm -hmm. used to, for execution. Yeah. Was developed by a dentist, fact or fiction? I honestly thought it was developed by Thomas Edison. Um, I'm going to go with fiction. It says it's true. Huh. Alfred Southwick. I'll be darned. You know, Alf. 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 Southwick. It's, um, hey, I heard a good one the other day that I thought was, that? It was apropos. My dad was so tough. When I was five, I died, and he made me just walk it off. <laughs> 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 to walk it walk off. Walk it off, boy. Get back to work. Uh, yeah. The best one I heard recently came from a individual in the medical field that dealt with unruly type individuals. Okay. In that kind of a setting. Well, isn't and, everybody when they're in the medical? I mean, when you're a patient, it's kind of you're the at the worst time in your life. Yeah. Well, some of them come in and they're not very respectful to those around them. And right. <clears throat> this individual informed. Uh, particular patient that uh, don't let that tongue of yours get your teeth knocked out <laughs> <laughs> golly so there you go yeah. mm, well I'll think about it think anyway about that for... how'd you get your teeth knocked out my <laughs> well, tongue did it my tongue did it <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good yeah oh uh, we've talked about countries with large populations yes but what is the largest country by land area Land area. Land area. Don't be looking up there, I boy. Know, we have a world Cheating. map. On the and wall. every old area over there, don't be looking up there either. Yeah. So you can look up there. Can't um, read that. Now, the you, United oh, we States, haven't talked about this. The United States is big. It's Canada is big. All right. So your Russia name, is big. All right. So you're narrowing them down, or you're clicking them off. I'm, well, I'm trying to think of how to put that in order without okay. looking over so there you're at the saying wall. there's in the top 3 and you're china saying china is big boy you're you're yeah uh, but boy, brazil you're... is sizable wow look at you <laughs> i mean i'm surprised you even named that many countries let <laughs> yeah. alone it's big ones i'm really yeah i'm going to go <clears throat> land wow. area well, you know, so in that i'm going to go to the united states number 1 yeah no we're number 3 3 we're number 3 by 40% less than number 1 Forty percent less than number one. There's somebody that's I don't know if I get you know it's less is not the same as they more. Got all that up at the top. But Russia is yeah. really long. Yeah, I'm going to go with Russia. Russia, but yeah, they're the biggest. Right. I think they're eight time zones. Really? Yeah. I'm going to look up there now yeah. that I've answered. Oh yeah, look at that, baby. Oh, like, it's, it looks like, like dwarf. You it looks like, like it's bigger than there. all of North America put together. Yeah. In fact, I'm not so sure it's not as big as. Well, I was going to throw in South America there, but it's it's as big as Africa, don't you think? Oh yeah. From one end to the other, it's yeah. a different shape. Okay, that's number one. Canada is number. Oh, whoop, whoop. Nope. China is number two. China's two. Yeah, but you had named. You had rolled them in there. Yeah, you said they were. I would have the put group. them fourth. So. Right, but no, they're number two, and the United States really is right there with them. I mean, it's it's insignificant the difference in landmass. Uh, um, and number four, Canada. Canada. Yeah. And by the way, number five is it South America? Brazil? It's Brazil. Yeah. Oh, look there. at you. Look at you. Geography was well, obviously something. I wasn't you paid really attention. good at it, but, but I you paid attention. <laughs> but anyway. I kind of paid attention. Well, and you like to color, right? So <laughs> you color in those countries. different colors. Yeah, absolutely. You got to do something to fill in the hour. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. 
Here at the museum, you're going to find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. And we've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray Pump Organ Collection. We're a little bit place with a great big story and we'd love to have you. The Kansas Wheat Innovation Center in Manhattan is rediscovering ways to get improved varieties and new genetics in the hands of farmers faster. Grower-led and checkoff-funded research initiatives are bringing about positive change. This grassroots leadership provides a strong voice in Topeka and Washington, D.C. Now is the time to partner with Kansas Wheat in moving wheat forward. Kansas Wheat Commission and Kansas Association of Wheat Growers, farmers investing in their future and yours. Log on to rediscoverwheat.org. Kim Mannering with Hardy Insurance. Today we will talk about employee safety and work comp coverage. On your farm, do you ask your friends to come help? Are they considered employees or neighbors helping neighbors? Did you know that you can be held responsible just as if it's a work comp accident? Give me a call, we can discuss. 316-945-6733.